go. Hello, this is Tech and Explosions, and today I'm going to teach you how to get that fuzzy channel that you've had for a while and make it maybe crystal clear if you're lucky, and if nothing, increase the uh, make it sound a little better. So the things you're going to need is you're going to need a metal coat hanger. It doesn't need to be stripped. You're going to need just some spare wire, a wire nut, and you don't have to have these, you don't have to go out of your inconvenience to go get these, but they come in handy. And you're going to need some wire strippers and a radio to test it on. So the first thing you're going to need is you're going to get your metal coat hanger, and I've already cut mine in half, but you want to make it nice and flat, just kind of doesn't matter that it's bumpy, but it's easier to wrap the wire around. So you're going to cut this little hook off, and this can be very challenging, so be careful with this. Alright, and once you've done that, so what you're going to do is you can bend this here so that maybe you want to uh, tape it to the antenna or maybe have it on a cup and have a wire attached to it. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to have the wire here and you're just going to start at the top and you're just going to do this very tightly. It's going to be kind of challenging to get it started first, but you're just going to keep doing this and slide it down so you can get a closer look and this can be very hard so you're just going to slowly wrap it and make it very tight. You don't, it doesn't need to be, you don't have to keep pushing the wires together and you can just do that towards the end. But you're just going to keep doing this until it starts to take form. Just going to keep wrapping the wire around. And you're going to keep this just like this. And you're going to do this about the whole way around until it looks like this here. And the wire nut, say this is the end right here. So all you have to do is you get your coiled end, get it all the way down the end here, and you get your wire nut and twist. Just like that. I don't know if you can see it or not. But you're gonna do that. And it's going to look a little better once you have it all the way wrapped tightly. But this is what this is what it's going to look like when you're done. And you're going to need to strip the wire at the end, just like so, maybe about an inch and a half, two inches, whatever you think's good. Strip the wire, twist it, and you're going to just wrap it to the end of your radio, just like that. Another neat thing you is you can hook this up to a RC car controller, and it'll also increase the range of an RC car. Most people don't know that. You can just slide it up to the top. But this isn't going to increase the range dramatically because you'll need more power. But the closer you put the wire together, the better. And so this will work. So you might want to make it a little longer, and preferably copper wire. I know I'm using aluminum wire. Copper will work much better in aluminum sign. But just wrap it just like this. Slide it right up to the top. You can tape it or whatever you need to do. And maybe you can hook this up to a to the radio. Tape it just like that, but it'll work just fine. But uh, thanks for watching today. And tune in for our next episodes on the do-it-yourself weather balloon.
Thanks for watching. I hope to see you soon.